You bought me a gift. This is for me. <gasps> for me. <gasps> Thank you. <gasps> what is it? Yeah, but what does it do? Oh. But what am I going to use it for? Gorgeous and welcome to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things. And I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Use it, don't use it, take it. Don't take it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. Honestly, do what you will with it. Because me, I'm no professional. I'm no professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Honeys, Valentine's is creeping along. It's on its way. And some of us are thinking of getting our boo things, our bays, a gift. But have you ever seen that moment where it's just like somebody opens a gift and they're like, thank you. But you can tell they're just like, ooh, what am I going to do with this thing now? It happens. Bad gifts happen. But I'm trying to save you from that. I'm trying to save you from that, boo. I'm trying to save you from having to buy a gift that a person is just actually not keen for. And now they put in an awkward position where they're kind of forced to like it so that they don't hurt your feelings. And depending on the type of person you are with, shame. They'll really try not to hurt your feelings, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. So I received this question on my Instagram, Kupan, what am I supposed to give on my man? Here are five ways that you can know if you've bought an amazing gift. Number one, it fits into the person's life. A gift, especially a good gift, it just fits in. It's almost like there was a missing piece and this gift completes the puzzle. When you get a photo for a person, you frame it and it's a memory and it's amazing. Sometimes a person just doesn't know where to put it. They don't know where to put it and they don't know what to do with it. And they're just like, Ugh. it becomes a problem. But a gift that is good, it fits. A ring fits onto the finger. A necklace fits onto the neck. You can never have too much jewelry or too many shoes. Those always just fit. But with everything else, they just need to fit into your life because it solves a problem in your life. It fulfills a need that you've had and now you don't have that problem anymore. The other day I was watching a vlogger and she got her man a ginger and garlic cutter and mincer thing, right? It comes in two little pots. It looks like two big spoons with little holes on it. And you'd be like, why would you get your man a ginger tool? Like, why, why would you do that? The thing is, he loves to cook with ginger at least three times a week. But he's been chopping it up really fine and crushing it and all of those things. And it's just been a, this huge mess that he creates every single time he wants to cut ginger and garlic. So she ended up getting her the mensa. And he loved it. It fits into his life. It makes his life so much more convenient. He just never knew he needed it. And now that he has it, he's going to use it at least three times a week because he's always going to be using ginger and garlic. So when you buy a gift, it is about finding out what is missing in a person's life. And it could be a really small thing. Does your man have a ring and he doesn't know where to put it? So he ends up putting it in random places every single time. Does he have a watch and he doesn't have a place to put the watch? So do you need to get him a little holder, a little basket or something that he puts his watch into? Does your man need hangers? for his clothing, that he really loves his shirts, but they come out looking all weird because he has wire hangers. So if you get him wooden hangers or ones that have a cushion around them, that way he won't get those little corners on his shirts. Oh my gosh, it fits into his life. And this just puts me to point number two, something that won't be forgotten. It's nice. When you get somebody a gift, oh, thank you. Mm so pretty oh thank you you thought about me oh thank you so much yes that is the common response when you get somebody a gift it's thank you but then you have to go home with this thing and you're just like oh a bad gift is often forgot about you get this thing for a person and as soon as the novelty wears out off 
it's it's out of their minds and they don't really think about it again until you're just like hey where's that thing that i bought you mm, shame it's a problem it's such a problem you want something that's going to be remembered because it is used often and because it serves a purpose in that person's life so when you're thinking about buying a person a gift that's why things such as wallets things such as socks are such good ideas because men can never have enough socks and if you get him a wallet it's just an upgrade and it means that he's going to use it every single day if he loves the wallet right remember it needs to fit into his life into his style into his way of doing things so that it also doesn't become something that is forgotten and this is why this is why babes this is why number three panties are always a good gift panties panties are the best gifts of them all you know why you can never have enough panties never never have enough panties we need to move away from this life of just having panties for the purpose of wearing panties just to cover the john you know no 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 panties are meant to be enjoyed even for men so if you were to get your man panties for valentine's day you'd get him briefs you'd get him trunks and you'd get him you know a different type in different styles every single time you know you get him short briefs long briefs high waist low waist panties so he can fully understand that the panty is so much more than just panties it's so much more than just underwear and a band. It's so much more than that. When you get him three or four different styles of underwear and he gets to mix and match with everything that he wears, he starts to feel the full enjoyment of the life of good panties. And if you do this right, Mahani, if you get him the right type of panties, you will achieve number four something that lifts the level and upgrade better than what he had before right now your man is just wearing panties for the sake of wearing panties you get him different types of panties different styles with different fabrics and you go a little higher end with the panties meaning better fabric a good technology for the fabric of the panties which means that it is both hugging but not too tight that you lose your future children and it is breathable right while it absorbs all of the moisture in the jewel area yes yes then it is an upgrade from what he had before he will wear his old panties one day and then the next day he wears the new panties and then he realizes that these things feel different there's a difference here these are not all panties are made equal no 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 not all panties are made equal no he will then wear his old panties which is just the normal brief and then you get him a midway brief that is slightly long a certain type of fabric and then he puts that on with his suit pants and he starts to feel to himself you know these things feel different when i'm walking around you know my suit pants just fit and sit a little differently from when i used to wear my old cotton things you know maybe these panties are different upgrade upgrades work so well if you take a person from having this teacup to a teacup so if you go from just having a mr price teacup to a carol boys it becomes very different you start to feel the difference if you take a person and you just like babes your kettle your kettle has been around since you were a student and you are a full-on working mother with 10 years of experience in corporate and you still have your kettle from when you were a student and upgrade is a good thing so if you look around at a person's life at something that they use and something that they love however it has seen better days an upgrade is a good idea when buying a gift number five is the cutest of them all something that will get a person to think of me when I'm not around this is why men can buy lockets which is something that has a pendant but on the inside has a small little picture and having a picture of the two of you inside is an amazing gift but you can't really buy lockets for men so pieces of jewelry are things that when they look at it they think of you something that you can buy as a car accessory when he sees it he'll think of you something that a photo in a frame next to his bed when he sees it he'll think of you so something that is a keepsake 
easy to keep and something that will make him think of you something that he knows that this solved my problem this fits into my life and every time i see this i think of you and that's why panties babes i return to panties panties i shame every time that man sees his panty he will think of you and then there's the bonus the game changer a game changer is when somebody goes and prepays for your school expenses a game changer is when somebody says babe i want to start a podcast and you go and you buy them the sound equipment hallelujah hallelujah the game changer a game changer is usually something that someone has been saying for years and months that i really want this thing i want this thing i want this thing and you are able to enable them to get it if your man has a love for photography and you get him a camera if he loves formula one and you get him a viewing experience a game changer is something that just shifts a person from the inside and it's just like you know me you thought about me and you did this for me if your man wants to lose weight and he's been saying this for the longest time but he's scared to go to gym and you get him a personal trainer game changers these are big these can be kind of expensive but it is something that someone has been saying they wanted and would never expect that you'd actually go and get it for them that is the ultimate game changer all right my honeys i hope that you enjoyed this one because that's all i have for you today that's it for this episode until next time beautiful people please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please comment down below because when you do these things you help my channel to grow and you help more ladies discover the goodness that is how i do things that's it for today until next time bye Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for making it right until the end. Now if you have not subscribed, please click on this button right here to subscribe and feel free to binge watch all 230 something videos here for you honeys, including vlogs. They are vlogs too, okay? Head over to my website www.kopanashimangi.com to find out more about my journal, Her Daily Success Journal. Until next time, toodles!